Hey guys, uh, this is my uh, 2002 GMC Yukon Denali, and it does have the 6.0 in it. Uh, what's special about this truck is that it has a turbo in it, and the turbo, the turbo that I have in it is from eBay, and you know it's it's cheap. Everything that I got on this truck is real cheap. Um, cheap horsepower. Everything that I did on this truck, I did it myself. I did in the backyard, you know, um, it was already bad enough that I'm paying a lot for the kit, so, or custom kit, as you can say, and I didn't have enough money to take it to a shop, or, you know, I want to do it hands-on myself. I'm a little bit mechanically inclined, so, you know, I did it myself, but what I want to show you is, y'all can do this yourselves, if you want to turbo your Tahoe or your GMC, you know, SUV or truck. So I'm gonna show you what I got done to it. Uh, as you see, I bought, I got these from eBay also. Um, I forgot how much it was, like ten bucks, you know, what I'm saying for the stickers. Um, I got the the uh, headlights from them. Now those like was 150, and the LED that's in the, the LED headlights they're like sixty five dollars. But the, the, what I really want to show you is if you want to do this yourselves and you don't want to spend almost two grand 2500 on a turbo kit and you want to spend less than that then i'm going to show you what i did so i mean first of all i got a cheap old boost gauge in here and i got an aem uh wide band you know for the fuel and the ratio and all that stuff right there i had to learn all that myself and Okay, I'm going to pop the hood, and I'm going to show you what I got under the hood. And then I'm going to show you how much all this stuff costs. And what I had to do to do this. And here you are, it's the turbo kit, or custom-made turbo kit. Uh, the turbo is a GT45 turbo off eBay, and it was like 150 at the time. Um, I got a turbo blanket. I think it was $25 at the time. Um, you have to get one of those if you want to have uh, cooler engine temperatures. Um, the the piping um, from here, uh, the intercooler, which is a 31 inch. You can't see it because it's black. Uh, came from eBay like that. And it was $73 for that. And it also goes around back to the turbo um like the silicone piping and all that stuff was about 83 bucks um this four inch four to four 90 degree elbow i think it was about like ten dollars off ebay and this is a three inch to a four inch and this was uh i think this was about twelve dollars off ebay and then i had to buy oil lines this is a 70 inch a 70 inch oil line that runs the back of my uh firewall all the way down to a um, adapter, a block, oil block, because I had to delete the uh, oil cooler. And I believe that was $25. Um, the, uh, the 50 millimeter wastegate, which you see right there. And I think that was about $45. And then the blow off valve was $35. And it's, um, I think this is a, I think it's a 35 millimeter, I believe um i got a boost controller which is right here um this right here was like uh 15 for the boost um uh, boost controller the only expensive thing that i had to buy was the downpipe and the turbo manifold which is right there and i brought the driver's side manifold and the crossover what you see right here now i had this turbo on his a little bit over a year and what's going on is that it where you see it's welded at right there where the uh wastegate is supposed to be on i had that blocked off because i didn't like the way the wastegate was positioned and i thought it might have some boost creeps on uh on the way so i deleted that and that's why you see the wastegates up there i'll show you how i did that anyways right there was the uh flex uh, flex flex pipe was right there 
and it it uh actually put a hole in it on the way from florida to maine somewhere in tennessee it had got a hole in it so i had to go to a local muffler shop and had to get that done and having no issues of that at all but that comes in the kit so you get the crossover um you get this down pipe you get the turbo manifold that's right down there and he also get the the uh driver side manifold and all that costed about i think 649 dollars for that whole setup and i'll show you how i connect it to the pipe i took it to the muff shop to get it connected to the pipe and i'm going to do something else yeah, as you can see it's uh here's the pipe it's three inches all the way out and it is going to a magnafloor exhaust and all the way out with a three inch tip but what they did and you see right here they welded it on there i want to cut that i'm gonna cut that and put some flanges on it so that way when i do want to take uh, strange the muffler or do something on the truck i can actually can take that off and i should have that i should have that done oh let me get from my truck so here's my wastegate uh where the exhaust exit out as you can see uh there it is that's what is um the dump tubes at it's not really all that loud but you'll know exactly when it's uh opening up that it's pretty freaking loud yeah Ugh. all right the injectors they are decapped as you can see they're the stock injectors i decapped them myself um that brings it up to like a 24 pound to a you know like a 70 or 80 pound injectors um you can you can type that in the, the laptop on the hp tuners um i had to buy the hp tuner software and i had to buy a laptop and that also the laptop cheap old laptop from walmart costed about 250 bucks and then the hp tuners it was also 200 dollars for that with no credits so i had to buy the credits and that was it about that but anyways i'm gonna give you the total of everything that i had um gotten but oh also not to mention uh these hoses you can get these at track supply and this is like a a one inch um no not a one inch but like a almost like a three eighths hose just goes to um it's like a roof reference um blow off valve go to the intake manifold and then this goes into the boost gauge um inside the vehicle um you have to get little things like that but that's like more a nickels and dimes like five or ten bucks and everything like i said i did all this myself and here is the uh the drain there's the oil drain and you get the whole kit for like 30 bucks and goes down here and uh, as you can see that's where i got it in tapped into the oil the um the oil pan and i'm gonna show you what you need to get okay okay here we go Here's a drill bit, and here's your tap and die set. Also, this is what I had to get. I had to get the HP tuners, MP3, MPVI2, and I had a ball cheapo laptop from Walmart. And I learned how to tune it. I got the books, the, all of the, the uh, tuning books and everything on my phone, and I learned how to do it from there. So, this is what you need to get. You don't need the whole case, but if you have it, Without the case, good. I went to Harbor Freight and I had to get the case because I was impatient and I didn't want to be waiting around to get the three quarter tap. And you need this drill bit. It is a Milwaukee and it is like a, what is like a 12, 20? Yeah, let's do that better. <laughs> 2132. That's what it is phone can't really focus on it yeah so it's a 2132 drill bit and and this is the tap that you're going to need oh, okay and there it is right here you're going to need this and it is a three-quarter nf16 and you need this tap to go with that drill bit to tap your line in the oil pan and i'm gonna show you where did I, i'm gonna show you where i did a tap on the oil pan okay 
But yeah, that's what you need to do to tap to do your drain and everything. Yeah, you can't really see it, but it's right there. And it's right right up under the harmonic balancer, right in the oil pan. And if you can you can drill right there, and that'll be an excellent return off for your uh for your uh turbo. And not to mention also you do want to run this turbo blanket and you want to run a uh, heat exhaust wrap just because it gets real hot and it's right next to this AC line. Um I didn't have this at the time, but I had this AC line blue and it blew right up under there and almost caught on fire. So I heat wrapped this and also got a turbo blanket for it and I have no problems out of it since then. Um, also, the transmission, when I put this turbo kit on, the transmission was stock. Um, it, uh, I think uh, what happened was third and fourth went out on me. I was driving out. I wasn't beating on this truck or nothing. Actually, this truck, I don't beat on this truck really. I don't take it to the drag strip. I don't do no quarter mile times with it. All I do is drive as a daily driver. I might uh, go out down the highway on the interstate and I might hit it a couple of times. You know, um, I might try a couple of vehicles. That's all I do because since it's being a stock transmission, you don't want to put a lot of stress on it. Um, at the time it was stock. So, but like I said, third and fourth gear went out. Um, I burnt up the clutches in it and turns to find out I had a broken piston so I took the transmission apart myself and I rebuilt the uh, order new pistons I got rebest those uh, the 3 4 clutch pack Z pack I um, also upgraded the sun shell I got a new torque converter and I also put some new um, seals bushings and a new sprag on it um, new valve body the only thing that I haven't did I haven't put a shift kit in it and I think that's the next move um, I would do once I add a cam because right now it's running the stock cam this motor is basically stock now I do have the exception of, of these if you can see let me zoom in those are 243 heads so I have 243 heads on this um on this motor and I am making uh think 13 or 14 pounds of boost and i'm running 93 you can get away with running 93 on that type of boost i have have no issues of blowing pistons or anything like that um you got to make sure the tune is right and you have to keep the timing down on it so so you don't go into detonation all that stuff right there so it's making crazy power uh, I mean, it's way faster than it used to be. So, anyways, but that's the um, <clears throat> but that's the whole kit. That's the whole setup. Um, I did have got these though. I mean, this was given to me. Um, so I did have the stock fan clutch on it. So um, so this was this did have a stock fan clutch on it. It was set up like this. Um, the reason I'm not running a math, I'm not actually running a two bar. I forgot to tell you that the two bar that's in this only cost it $25 for the two bar. Only reason I'm running the math because at the time, um, I had to tune for the math uh, on the turbo because I didn't have the two bar system operating at the time. So now I just got it because the air intake temperature sensor is in it. That's the only thing this is for. So the math is not working, only the temperature sensor. So I'm going to change all this eventually, but well, right now it's working. So I haven't had no issues of it, but yeah, it's simple turbo, um, cheap. You're going to have some, um, you're going to have some, some flaws in it. Um, the turbo is cheap, so it will eventually smoke like it's doing. Um, the seals are going out, it's not bad. But I will be getting another one of these turbos. This is only 150 something dollars, you know. So I will be putting another one of these soon. Haven't had no problems with the wastegate, the blow off valve, none of this stuff. Uh, the exhaust, everything's working. I had this turbo on this truck for about about a year and a half now, and it haven't gained no problems. The engine alone has like almost almost 300,000 miles on it, and it's still running. So yeah, hold on. 
Okay, let me go in and start it up for y'all. A little cold. There we go. Yeah, it's pretty cold here. I'm actually in Maine right now, so no, it's pretty cold here right now. But yeah, that's it. And here is there is the uh, boost gauge, and there is the uh, uh, the fuel ratio. And there she is. There she is, she's spinning, but you know what I'm saying? Like I say, it's not really, you know what I mean? It's not really, you know what I'm saying? The uh, uh, Turbonetics is not a darn um, Garrett or Borg Warner, you know what I'm saying? It's just, you know, it's something to get you going, you know what I'm saying? Then you can go ahead and upgrade to uh, like a thousand dollar turbo, you know? Exhaust on it. So, it, so it's running pretty good, you know what I'm saying? We want to shut it off right quick. I got some videos and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Me running this truck on the highway and stuff. You know, and like I say, man, it is really fast. I mean, I mean, <laughs> you can keep up with Mustangs and stuff, man, you know? So <laughs> I ain't got no problems out, you know what I mean? I ain't trying to be the fastest truck out there, you know? So I just want something that'll get a little pep in the stuff, you know what I mean? So like I say, I don't have no money to like afford the, the big big behind turbo kits and all that stuff, you know what I mean? So hey, I got what I can buy, you know what I'm saying? And this is what this is my setup. So if you're interested, you can let me know um in the comments. Some of this stuff you might not be able to find on eBay. Cause it took me a while for me to find it. But if you want to know the prices, uh or not the prices, but really the the item numbers and stuff like that, just let me know what's up and I can direct you in the right place. Like I say, but everything's been done and built by me. You know what I'm saying? Um, in future, um, I think uh, future down the road, I'm gonna be installing a 408 on this bad boy, and and I will be putting a cam, just a truck cam, and and installing it. Man, but yeah, this is the truck right here. You know what I mean? So like I say, if y'all wanna figure out how to do a turbo kit on your Tahoe or Yukon just let me know man you know what I'm saying it, it's worth it's worth it man I love it I had this thing I heard this turbo on this truck for about almost a year and a half and I love it man it's my old lady loves it too you know what I mean she she don't drive as much because it's too big for her but it's a handful once that turbo uh, spools up man it you know it spools up around about I say about two grand sometimes a little early it depends on how how, how you in the gas though but it spools pretty quick for a big turbo. But yeah, this is my trunk, man. 2002 Yukon Denali 6.0.